dealt with cricket, we're here today to find out how hard can it be to be fit enough to be a county cricketer. Now, you may remember a year ago, me, Munners, asked Matt Walker if I could have a contract at Kent. He said, yes, just pass our fitness test. So I'm back here now to make that happen. I'm with Rob, the S&C coach from Kent. He's gonna take us through our paces today. Tim's here as well. How do we think it's gonna go? I'm shitting it. I think I'm gonna fail miserably. And I know you're gonna fail miserably as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty confident. I feel like I've prepped well. Uh, how would you prepare for a day like today? So I think a day like today, you guys should have had a good night's sleep, full eight to ten hours. You should have got up fairly early. It's 11 o'clock now, so you should have been up at 7, 7.30, having a big breakfast full of carbohydrates and some protein to be ready for this. Is that what you've done? Uh, I got five hours sleep. I had my dinner at 1am, but I did have three pasta dishes yesterday. I had spaghetti for breakfast, carbonara for lunch, and lasagna for dinner. So I'm carb loaded in that sense. What about you two? Uh, I had granola and yogurt this morning on the train. That's all right. Yeah, that's a start. Ready for this. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What's the first thing? First thing, we'll head into the gym and we're going to do some skin folds first before you get all sweaty. <laughs> okay, so the first test we've got is skin folding, which gives us uh, a rough guide on how much body fat a player is carrying. So we're going to take eight different sites across each of the lad's bodies, and that will give an accumulative score in millimetres. Uh, I won't tell you what's good yet, we'll wait until we've done it. Right, show us off who's first. Tim, top off. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using the skin fold caliper to take a, a fat thickness. So you can see as I open the caliper, the arrow moves, and that's in that's in millimeters. So that first one was 5.8 millimeters. About there. So I'm going to drop again. So how's your regime been moving coming into this? Well, obviously at Christmas. Was, uh, it wasn't that long ago, uh, I made sure I prepped. Um, I walked between my house and the pub at least two to three times a day during the Christmas period. Uh, I've also made sure that in January, when some people are quitting things, uh, doing the right January, maybe cutting out carbs, I've, I've made sure that I'm not going to do that because I think it's a negative impact on your life. <coughs> um, so I just managed to keep up all of the drinking and eating. Of, um, but Rob, Rob told me to do that, he told me to be natural. Is that right? Well, <laughs> at least we get a true reflection on your life. <laughs> so the skin for results are in, so what have you got for us, Rob? So if you're a professional at Kent, I'd like you below 65mm on the skin folds. So Tim, you are 107.9mm, and Will, you're 160.6mm. Yeah, um, it feels like I might be three times any professional cricketer. Mm, yeah. Is that a good thing? Three times better than... Yeah, well, I mean, I'm probably overprepared. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, you, this would be a tough conversation for us to be having. What would you say to me, Rob? Uh, well, I'd say we need to speak to nutritionists first. <laughs> and then question, questioning your commitment, commitment to the squad and your, your career. <laughs> Cheers, Rob. That's all right. <laughs> so do you think Matt Walker's only walking? I think I think Walker would leave it to me. We've still got we've still got tests to come. Do you think I could say that? There's every chance. There's every chance. Yeah. yeah. So just, just just these don't mean that you'll be bad at everything. Sure. And I suppose for, for a talent like mine, <coughs> you could probably overlook skip time. Huh? For village cricket, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But, mm. <laughs> so we've had our skin folds done. We found out the not so good news that we need wholesale lifestyle changes. But now Rob has taken us inside. And what are we going to do in here? We've got three running base tests. So the first one is a 20 meter max sprint. So we'll find out your acceleration capabilities. Then we're going to go into a repeat run two. So that's going to give us an idea of your ability to accelerate, change direction, and then repeat that um, run two after run two. So that then gives us a measure of anaerobic capacity. And then the last one we're going to do after a bit of a rest is a yo-yo test, and that's a gauge of aerobic capacity. Perfect. And do we need a warm-up for this? We definitely need a warm-up for this. Go into max one exercise. Right then, let's crack on. I've actually really quick over the first five yards. Probably five yards. Yeah, well that's a problem. I I, I'm not a slouch between the wickets. I'm quite greedy, I take a lot of ground. People can man cap me if they want. I think he's at man cap this summer. I think Rob will man cap me in a minute. <laughs> 
difficult. So what you're going to do is you're going to accelerate as fast as you can between this first set of light gates and that second set of light gates and make sure you stop. I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> Front foot is going to be in line with this cone. You can choose left or right, whatever your personal preference is. After you're ready and set, you accelerate as fast as you can and you're going to get a time over your 20 meters. Yeah? Sounds good. Lovely. We'll do three minutes rest in between each one and we're going to do two. Perfect. Yeah. Alright? Oh, well, we see. Alright. So I'm going to turn the burners on this time. Left a little bit in the tank first time, I think. I think it's all vent You know? I've got to one tit a little bit more, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that will make a big difference. <laughs> uh, right, 20 seconds. Then you're fresh. See if you can beat the previous one. If you hit that red line down the middle, make sure that deviate. Stay in my lane. Don't slow down before the last gate. Make sure you run right through it. Right, whenever you're ready. A little bit quicker. Yeah, that's quick. That's quick. That's really quick. Tim. Confident with that one? Yeah, I like that one. It felt quick. Yeah. You know when you run with your shoes on? You know that feeling? Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> felt quick. <laughs> so, Rob, we've done the sprints. How did we do? Minimum standard for the 20 meter sprint is three seconds. <laughs> So, Will, your best was 3.27. Tim, what? I can shave 0.2 off. Tim, your best was 3.18. I'm actually happy with that. I'm, I'm way closer than I thought. But I'll give you some context. Well, so, 3 is the minimum standard. Yeah. Less than 2.8 is really fast. More than 3.2 is slow. So, so there's, I'm, not I'm, much, there's not much room for error on this. So, I'm just a bit. You're on the edge of slow. And Will is slow. <laughs> you got to bring us crashing down, don't yeah. you, Rob? Jesus. Brutal honesty. I'm going to get better. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much realistically do you reckon we, as sort of clubbies, could shave off? I think you could shave a lot off that. If you, if you combined better lifestyle, diet, regular training, it's, it's only going to improve, and there's lots of areas you can make a big difference at. Yeah. And there's a theme here, isn't there? Lifestyle. Yeah, so your, your lifestyle is reflected on your values and your job. Your job doesn't require you to accelerate over 20 metres as fast as possible. Well, I've never missed the bus. So, <laughs> so you're a good timekeeper. Yeah. I do. <laughs> What's next, Rob? Next, we're going to do repeat run twos. So we've got a bat for each of you, and we're going to test out your anaerobic capacity and your speed between the wickets. So, so in layman's term, repeat run twos, what does it mean? What it means is you're going to run a two, as fast yeah. as possible. So that's and then repeat it. Yeah. And repeat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice one. We just did some sprints and we're actually really good at it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was 0 0.07 seconds off being an acceptable standard for Kent County Cricket Club. Um, so that's something to think about. I, yeah, I, I was really much happier with that than Skinfolds. And, and now we've got a run two. Mm. Have you ever run two? No, I made dealing boundaries. We have to run two six times. So, how many runs is that, Tim? That's 12. Yeah, 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> More than you scored this year. <laughs>
That's number six, right? Two left. That's number four. Two left. Two left. Come on, man. Go. You're going to run from the cone at 5 to 25 in between the beats that come on the speaker mm -hmm. and then you've got a walk out to the cone at 0 and back again as your recovery period which stays at 10 seconds all the way through. The beats are going to get faster between these two cones as the test goes up each level. You keep going until you can go no longer. If you don't make the return cone, I'll give you one warning. The second warning, you're out. We're done. Nice one. I feel like I'm back in secondary school, but yeah, what are we looking for score wise? You're looking as a minimum standard across county cricket uh, for 19 1. 19 1. Yeah. Right. I've no idea what that means. No. At this point, that means nothing. Yeah. No. Well, Just we'll keep going. Now. Just yeah. keep going. See how you go. It's all, it's all up here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you guys think you'll get 19-1? Um, I don't know, I, I heard a rumour that like, Alistair Cook once got 21-7 and he's retired, so I'd probably do better than that. What do you reckon? I reckon you might complete it. Just finish it? Just get it. Rob was right. Just, it's, it's, all mental, mental. it's all mental. It's all mental. Yeah, very slow. Nine, one. Yeah. 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 On the, on the money, on the case, a little bit out of breath, but that's expected. Here you go. Right, so now you're up to level 14. There's eight levels at this pace. Behind on the turn. Will, that's a warning. Be ready on the next one. Ready for the beat. Here you go. Justin! 
How was that? I'm not fit enough. Right, I'm not fit enough. I'm embarrassed. I feel like the contract's a long way off now. I'm dribbling. Is it normal to have this narrow vision? Who's doing well? Yeah, he's just doing well. He's gonna have to carry the dealt with flag. I can go. Oh, Tim. Yes, you're in. Keep it going, keep it going. Don't pull yourself out. Next level, 17-1. 17-1. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. The sprint, the sprint. Finish there, finish there, well done. That's a good effort. That's a great effort from Tim. The pleasing about both of them is they didn't pull themselves out. They waited for me to pull them out. But that's a very good effort uh, for Tim to reach. He got finished at 16.8. So um, Im impressed with that. Mm -hmm. Impressed with that. So Rob's put us through our paces today. We're trying to find out if we're good enough to get a contract here at Kent. I'm pretty sure the talent's there, Tim. Yeah, the cricket's not an issue. Not an issue. Um, um, Rob's told us that many times today. Uh, and what we're looking for is, is our standard of fitness acceptable that Rob can make that happen for us? Tell us how we did. No, unacceptable. <laughs> so for, for both of you, you're, you're both too slow. You wouldn't be very effective on the pitch, particularly in white ball cricket you might find that if your skill set's good enough, you could be effective in red ball cricket, but even then, it would show up on the pitch that you wouldn't be able to field very effectively, and you'd probably be quite inefficient um, collectively over a long period of time. Um, your repeatability would be ineffective as well. You're both not fit enough to be able to repeat your skills at the level that we would be required for a professional cricketer. And then given your skin fold scores and body fat percentages, I'll be questioning your lifestyle and nutrition choices uh, quite heavily and your commitment to your desire to be a professional cricketer and have a long career. Uh, but would you say you've ever, ever seen anything like it in a fitness test? Uh, yes. Oh, you have? I have. I won't tell you where, but I have seen it, yeah. Um, at, and those players didn't have long careers. There you go. Mm. Well, thanks so much for that, Rob. Um, Definitely learn a lot about what it takes to play for Ken County Cricket Club. Thanks so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. And um, yeah, we've been dealt with. I'm Manners. This is Tim. I've been called Will all day. I loved it. It's like being back at school. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and catch you next time. <laughs>